Right, this could be fun. <laughs> Hello everyone. How are we? We have not done one of these for a little while, have we? How is everyone? Hopefully you can hear me, because again, kinda don't really know what I'm doing anymore. Literally has been months. It's been months since we've done a live stream. It's been nearly a month since we uh put any kind of semblance of videos out. I know they've been throwing a few little ones out every now and again where I could fit them in, but uh Hello! It is so good to be back. It was honestly the the, the feeling of happiness that I had the time to get this done today was um was brilliant. So um nice to see so many of you here. Welcome. Glad you all didn't run off and make friends with another farm simmer. <laughs> um how are we? How is everyone doing? Nice to see so many of you in here. Pro Farmer DK on his 14 months. Uh, Mark Haythorn, wait, 15, bloody hell, bud. Semper Buffalo, Joseph, Farmer Ed, two years. Jeez, dude. And Mr. Steggy Poo, thanks for sending your uh, crew over. Posox as well, nice to see you. Hoss, Corn Dork, Corp Nut, everybody that's in. Um, chat's gone too quick, and I can't see some of the old people. But great to be here. Um, God, I don't know what we'll do tonight. We've got a lot of um a lot of uh a lot of trees to cut down. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going with this. People were starting to like this series, and I was gutted that um just life got in the way for such a long time. So um yeah, we're doing a bit of catch up here. Scooter, how are we doing, mate? Nice to see you. Bonded Mad, nice to see you too. I'm supposed to make friends. Why does nobody ever tell me this? <laughs> Uh Chinook, thank you buddy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So Trey Schmidt, 33 months, dude. That's about as long as my channel's been up. Semper, nice to see you as well. Right. Um now if you remember when we started, we've cut a field and we've planted it already. Um And we've cleared a little bit of an extra area here. We're gonna use this as a bit of a staging area. Now we are limited with equipment at the moment as well. Stir! Let me see if I can get this right. I'm I'm usually well, sometimes I'm all right with the pronunciations. Stuart Rolling Canal. I saw your comment, by the way, Steggy Poos, about filming my next uh, film. Put a smile on my face. The Beekeeper. Go and check it out. Out Christmas. Gavin Barnes, nice to see you. Thanks for your comment, mate, as well. Um, I'm glad to be back, mate. It's uh, it's great to be here. Uh, Legacy as well. Crikey, all these people coming out of the woodwork. It's nice. So look what I found here as well. Look, a plinth for a building. So um, we'll clear some of these trees and we'll maybe build a house. Not tonight, obviously. But uh, we can get started. So I'm really going to plan out what I'm going to do with the farm, really. So we've got a little bit of a rise here that comes up from the road, where the tractor and the uh, uh, the, um, the yellow thing are. Can't even remember what stuff's called. Saran, lovely to see you. How are you? Lol the beef. Have you seen the trailer? Go and watch the trailer for it. It's really good. Farmer Sim, I had a great holiday, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, most enjoyable. Um, yes, I'm going to cut some trees down in this mode. Don't you worry. I'm just trying to work out where the best place to start is. Um, so, those of you who didn't know, and thank you, by the way, for everybody that dropped me a note. Checking in, making sure I was all right. Um, obviously, don't read my community posts and things like that, which is fine. But no, genuinely, um, it was nice to have people looking out for me. Everything was fine. Everything was good. But even then, it's uh, it's quite touching when people say, not seen you for a few weeks, hope everything's all right, shout if you need anything. So respect to uh, to you all. So thank you for that. Trusser, how are you doing? Hey, Jack, nice to see you too, mate. And Pete, how are you, Pete? I'm going to say a lot of hellos here. Base date as well, good to see you. Um, no, it's good to be back. And to be honest, um, all positives why I wasn't about. Um... As most of you know, I started my own business um, 12 months ago, actually. We had our birthday on the 1st of September. Um, and it's just been manic, manically busy, but in the best way possible. Um, so I shouldn't complain, because that's what pays the bills still. 
Um, I know I'm going to annoy Greta completely with this. It's a sustainable forest. At some point, I will um, I'll replant some. Maybe. We'll see. see. The FSG community satisfied. Exactly, Ed. It was... Um, yeah, it was a nice touch. Obviously, a, a few people knew I was away and things like that, but um, those who didn't, um, I was quite touched with the amount of people that reached out, which was uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. T. Bailey, how are you doing? Nice to see you. So, yes, I hope you're all okay with me chopping down trees for a while. Um, it's, it feels so surreal doing a live stream. It feels so surreal. Um, but lots of, lots of good stuff's been going on. Obviously, you saw I was down in London. I hadn't forgotten about Farm Sim altogether. Lots of fun uh, down in London with John Deere. Um, what a lovely bunch of people they are. Um, Corpnut, you are welcome. I will happily share a beer, a glass of whiskey, or both, with you. Uh, Nud, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, yeah, a great weekend down in London with John Deere. That was, that was fantastic. Really quite... Um, honoured to be asked um, to go and help them out, which was great. Um, environmentalist. <laughs> Don't watch this series. Yeah. It's, uh... Especially those virtual environmentalists that hate people cutting down digital trees. They're the worst. I am going to Lama as well in January, so if you're UK island based or you feel like a trip over from, um somewhere else in the world you are welcome to come uh, to Lama there's going to be I think quite a few of the English speaking content creators there which will be good fun um, Legacy you've been an absent have you mate see great minds great minds think alike um, but yes um, Lama is good John Deere in London was good as I've said um, business has been booming which is why I've been away I literally haven't been able to do anything and I'm, 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 when I actually have had time, I've been so tired that I've uh, I've just gone to my bed. Um, but all positive stuff. We're still hiring people, and uh, business is going super well. So that's great. Um, I also hit gold partner with Giants. So thanks to you lot. Uh, for any of you who've bought uh, DLCs or um, expansions or anything like that over the years, you are responsible for me getting to gold partner which is amazing on the chains are all day only to come and watch fsg cut down virtual trees nice crofter and then um last week i just had a nice little holiday in in portugal with the family which was long overdue as well to recharge the batteries which was good so there you go ian brilliant mate come find us I'm toying with the idea of getting some special edition FSG Llama hats. So if anybody fancies one, I'll, 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 I'll start to plan stuff over the next few weeks. Um, but if anybody's interested, I might be able to hook you out with some nice hats or something. I got a gold star. It doesn't happen very often, Tracer. I'm usually bottom of the class. Mark 42, nice to see you. How are you? It isn't far for you, is it, Farmer Sim? I'm talking with, uh, hanging out with the folks. Although, uh, the thought of driving through Birmingham does not fill me with happiness. Traffic's awful through there, but, uh, should be a good show. Is that Alexi Ag? Did not know he was still around. Neither did- I didn't know he'd gone. Because I'd gone at the same time. This is where we break that Legacy and I have been living on a desert island for the last month. There we go. I am cutting a lot of trees down here with um, not much of a plan. Just going to cut loads of space. I'm going to clear some of these, but I'm not going to... Um, we'll obviously ship some down to the uh, sell point because we don't have much money. But I don't think there's enough here to really expand... Um, <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, we'll strip the trees. I don't. I could sell them all, but we could. I don't want it to go backwards and forwards all night. You lot will get bored. 
but um, what I might do is uh, we'll sell a few loads, see if we can upgrade some equipment and things like that. Mr. Dazed, nice to see you. Thanks for dropping in, bud. I hope things are good with you. Did you get um? So we had a we had a. Uh, I was in um, Portugal last week, so I missed it. But um, did you get uh, hit by uh, the storm? We had a bad storm in Scotland. Flooding, things like that. Lots of bad flooding. There's actually quite a lot of trees here. Barber Trio, how are you? Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. I do appreciate it. I really do. Nice to be back. Seemed like a good idea at the start. How many trees can we fell in one episode? They should have a tree counter. You know, like the bale counter. Where's the tree counter? You have cut down 50 trees in the first 10 minutes. I'm, tr I'm trying a new um, uh, capture card tonight as well. So just thought I didn't have enough of a challenge trying to remember what to do. I just thought I'd plug some new equipment in as well. We were all right, Farmer Sim. Edinburgh just uh, got pretty rainy, but I think we dodged, dodged most of it, which was quite good. It's Loki playing for this mod out. It is a good advert, isn't it? For uh, the old Lumberjack mod. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'm just clearing everything now. I've, no, I'm just crazily going around. Farm Sim Brisco as well. How are you? Oh man, Legacy, that sounds grim. Tree counts in the stats. There you go. Let's see what we've cut down since we started. It'd probably be really disappointing, actually, won't it? It'll be like, oh. Let's have a look. Old Stato himself. Yeah. Trees cut down. 88 in total. 18 since we started. Oh, it feels like more than that now. I'd, I've just disappointed myself. There you go. Um, let's just clear these here as well. Are we all hyped for the expansion? Not long till that's out now. Hopefully getting a little bit of a sneak peek of it early. But, uh, and I've got plans to do quite a few uh, vids on it if I can. How was the match in Tyneside? Um, where did I go? I went to the Liverpool game. Um, so it was terrible. <laughs> but it is a great atmosphere. It's a great town. Great for a night out. I'll be back soon. Yeah, I'm trying to line myself up for a few more tickets. I nearly got tickets to the... Um, Burnley game, which would have been a completely different uh... oh, Wow, your first live stream. Hello, <laughs> y'all. How you doing, mate? Somebody else going to Lama. If you ever want to see Yoss in real life, he'll be at Lama as well. Coming all the way from Holland. Oh, any uh, Scottish... I'm not sure how many... Probably nobody from Scotland in... If you, any of you are Agri-Scot as well, mid-November, um, I will be there as well. Just outside Edinburgh. Oh, we're going to have some fun shopping these as well. Six metres. I can't afford equipment. That's the problem. If I want to get a machine that cuts these down to six metres on my behalf, everything's about 350,000 not... 3,874 euros, which is what I've got in my bank account at the moment. We might be a while before we're getting some proper forestry equipment, which is a little bit disappointing. But that could be quite good. A one hour and 15 minute flight. 
it, you, you're going to take less time than I am to fly. You're flying to Birmingham as well, yes? Cody, um, I... When I've got time, I think, is the best uh, answer I can give you just now. I'm going to have to play it by ear a little bit, I think. Um, life's, life got busy. You've used souls for years. So what's the best saw, then? Or is it like John Deere and Case? You're either a still or a Husqvarna person and you should never switch. Oh, nice. New job days. Good stuff. No worries, Scott. You can watch my videos and decide if it's worth buying. Direct my jump out. <laughs> You're going to be one of those guys that uh, 10 minutes away from landing and they turn down and fly back to uh, fly back to Holland. Nuisance passengers, I think they're called, aren't they? Plan for both, Ed. And then see how you feel close to the time. It is free. Is that Tim? Hello, mate. How are you? Nice to see you, mate. It's, uh, it's been a while. Hope business is well for you as well, buddy. M. Colic. I've never heard of them. Is that an American brand? The Sim Guy. How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm surprised that I just. I think it's more a case of they don't know yet. As he's uh, as he's helping us out with some uh, technical requirements to help us understand. How many people are coming? Too much to keep up with at the moment. I can relate to that, mate. I think it's my first live stream in... I don't know, people. How long is it? Three months? Probably longer. McCulloch. Okay. Heard of them. Let's clear these and get some of these loaded up, or at least at the side of the road. I really feel like I've not made much progress. One more. One more, and we'll load some up. Jay Spencer, I am on Hold Matra here, which is, personally, I think, one of the best logging maps we've got. Preface 22. Very good map. Although... I still do love Silver Run. A year in, and I do love Silver Run still. For me, Giant's best map by by far. Right. Um, let's get our disconnect that for starters. Um, I'm sure we don't need auto drive. Hey, well, Sniper, nice to see you. Jay Spencer, I love the map. It is a really nice map. I love the fact that it has all this kind of debris on the floor. Makes it feel very good. For a half-decent vlog camera, um, I would go for a DJI camera, or I would go for um, GoPro. I see the new GoPro's just come out. It's got a very nice wide-angle attachment to it. Any tips on reinstalling mods that have been compressed? Not sure what you mean, Scott. As in zipped up?
What's the best way of returning a trailer onto its wheels? Reset it back to the shop. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Uh huh. Yeah, a phone, if you've got a decent phone as well. Mervo. I haven't tried one of those, are they good? Western Wilds. Do you know what? Western Wilds isn't one I have tried yet. Right, let's try and remember. I can't remember. I'm going to have to use the man manual. Uh, pull Wintrop. It was R. There we go. Put it on here, which is B. Try and get these all lined up somewhere. Get another tractor. With, with what? Sean, with my 3,800 I think I'm going to be struggling uh, okay winch it in, no M, winch it in can only do it outside can't we yeah remember this was a mod in 19 um, I'll remember my button soon. The Thunderbird Yard, yes. Um, I think in future, I haven't downloaded it yet, but I think in future. So, uh, Scott. Um, if they're zipped up, that's good. You, you want them zipped up. That's how they, uh, that's how they work. R, B, alright, I've remembered already, and Y to release. Chinook, thank you very much, buddy. I will most definitely have a beer. You are very generous. Thank you, buddy. Hope you are good, too. And Y, there we go. Ah, now we're talking. And Mr. Mark Haythorthwaite as well. Thank you for the gifted subs, mate. That is very kind of you. There you go, you lucky lot. We're about to... I need to overhaul our servers. I know Mark's, Mark actually is working on setting up a new server at the moment. But we're going to do a bit of a refresh of all of them over the next uh, little while, I think. Um, so, with your gifted memberships, you have access to the service. flying everywhere. Probably a quicker way of doing this, but um, I could be dragging two or three at once, actually. <laughs> right, let's... They all need to be close together, that's the problem. Let's see if we can drag some of these from around here. I quite like this tractor when I bought it, but um, I think somebody pointed out in one of the other episodes the uh, the two-wheel driveness of it is not ideal when it comes to pulling. We're losing a lot of grip, so um, be go. Too far. Stay there. Let's see if we can connect another one. We can. See if we can connect a third one. Ah, oh, come on. You. But we can pull those two a bit closer. Ah, oh, stuff it. We'll move these two first. Get them around these trees anyway. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, it took a bit of time, that did, Saran. Oh, I've crossed... Oh, I've crossed the streams. That's it. Game over now. There we go. Remember the buttons. Hey, DJ! Dave from g -Portal. Everybody's in. Nice to see you guys. How are you? I feel like a newbie here. Actually, 
to be fair, somebody, most people watch me and think they're watching a newbie anyway, so that's, <laughs> that's fair. Farm Sim Bob, do you think Jonas will send out early access to the new map? Historically, would be a week or two ahead of official release. Probably not as much as that, Bob, but I think definitely, definitely the weekend before is quite common. So uh, potentially, yes. Sim guy, eight months. Four months feels like forever. Push. How the devil are you, Mr. Goham? Yeah, check mark. He's like a real YouTuber. He actually does it properly. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> subs. You know, that was the depressing thing. I was doing really well off the back of the contract series. I think I'd had my best month in a long time, like 12 months or something. And then I just couldn't keep the momentum going because uh, I got too busy, but uh, here we go. Yeah, all the, uh, all, the, all the big stars in here, Tim. All the best people. Nicely lined up. Ish. Kind of staggered over the top of that one. Well, fine, ignore me then. I said you were one of the important people. <laughs> Dave. When you're. Uh, Fearsome Rhino, thank you for farm manager, buddy. Thank you for that, appreciate it. I'd never ignore you, Dave. Hopefully a few more contractor episodes come out. I've got some ideas for it. So, uh, well, there's never a shortage of ideas for, uh, for that series. But, uh, yeah, I've got a few lined up for that, which is good. Eighteen trees now feels like a lot. It didn't feel like a lot when they were all lying on the ground over there. And now I've realised I've only pulled over like about eight or nine. It's going to be hard to get all these over so I do indeed love you Dave even if you can't spell <laughs> right six meters or five meters I can't remember what were we doing in the last one is it five meters or six meters Sean I don't want your money I want your company mate well, that's more important to me Unless you mean uh, money in game, and then I'll take all of it so I can buy something to chop more trees down with. Mrs. Professor. I didn't realise you were having a stream today. Neither did I till earlier on, Mrs. Professor, so don't you worry about that at all. Nice to see you. It is good to be back and playing, I have to say. I have missed it like... I suppose that's a good sign that you're still enjoying a game when you don't have the time to play it and you, and you wish you did. That's uh, that's a good thing, right? If I went away and didn't enjoy it anymore, or didn't miss it, that would that would tell you something interesting. But no, I um, without question missed it and was kind of longingly, you know, I'd watch the odd video every now and again. Obviously, you always keep up with DJs, mod vids and stuff like that. So even just watching them going, oh, that looks like a good mod, and that looks like a good mod, and not having time to play is quite. Um, quite annoying but like I said in a good way I've been away because of good reasons not bad ones so um, just in case there aren't enough hours in the day oh these are too close I want to cut it but it's too close I can't stand it when this happens but oh. Oh, 
Oh, that was hard work. You lose a lot of the tree, actually, when you... Would I ever start a multiplayer series with views? It's something I've been thinking about, Sean, yes. Yes. I wouldn't do it as a series, though. I'd probably uh, do it as a live streams. You could come and play. It's so hard to facilitate a series with uh, a group of other people. To cons you'd, you'd be hard. Loads of different people with different schedules, probably in different parts of the world, would be a would be an interesting challenge. And it's probably me being the person that couldn't do it half the time. <laughs> so. Even like Aussie Farms with Args has been uh, has fallen by the wayside because we've both been away actually. We've both been busy the last few weeks, so um, it'd be nice to get back and play that again this weekend as well. Five meters. One of the best additions Loki did to this mod was stick the uh, the measure on take measure yo this could be a fun one because it overlaps try and get all these done and then we'll load them up and we'll take them to the shop then we'll be maybe I actually might think I might take the plow around I could maybe plan out my um, plan out my field next but even if we're plowing around trees for a bit. That could be quite good fun. Again, there's no rhyme nor reason. I don't have a plan. I'm just going to wing it. Can't see. Come on, I'll just leave that one. Go for the next one. This one that's too close. Go away. Try again. Five meters. Good to get them lined up because then you can use the other tree as a bit of a guide, even if it does mess you up sometimes. Oh, it's better from the side. Sometimes flipping sides helps too. Right, one. Five meters. Right, one more. Wing it Wednesday. Wing it, wing it every day. Feels like at the moment. Right, the fun bit. I already have some log piles here of stuff I'd already collected, but let's uh, let's load these onto the truck, shall we? Mister Mark Thor, nice to see you, mate. How are you? Get how noisy this is. Old faithful here. Just talk among yourselves for a while as she starts up. Over there, look at the amount of trees. Kind of depressing. Right, here we go. Just want to find out I've reset all my keybinds as well. Nope, we're good. We're good. So here's the thing has anybody seen the new Thrustmaster stuff? So we saw the, uh, the Hori wheel. And a joystick. Has anybody seen the Thrustmaster stuff? Zinixog, thank you very much, mate. It's nice to have you here. Hope you're doing well. 
No, Sean, it's been a horrendously wet, miserable, cold, windy day. Um, which is pretty standard for Scotland in the winter. To be fair, it's pretty standard for Scotland in the summer too. And the autumn and the spring. The new set looks horrible. The new Thrustmaster set? Not a fan. I thought the joystick looked quite interesting. And I love the fact they've got their little uh, wheel rotator. So you have a more... Um, a, a flatter wheel. You can't see me here. Flatter wheel. Um, but it's a bit more like a truck or a tractor wheel than a, than a racing wheel. Ooh. Oh, phone, I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it. It's just yours again. Yeah. Yoss troll. The Yoss troll. Waylon, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. The Horry set. Yes. And everybody was up in arms about the fact that, well, you know, if you're big into farm sim, a lot of people have wheels, right? They're like, hang on a minute, you're not selling the joystick separate to the wheel. So why would I buy it? I just want the joystick. I think Thrustmaster were listening and went, oh, interesting. Let's just release a joystick as an option. It does look very good, actually. Some nice uh, nice settings on it. Puns isn't trolling <laughs> Peter Tutton, well, you never know what we might be doing in terms of competitions, prizes, giveaways, etc. in the future, so stay tuned. The removable, sa the removable handle is nice as well, yes, I agree, Tim. Oh, I don't like that, though. Roll forward and take that one as well. Yours is totally trolling. Nick has spoken. As a famous smuggler once said, Sean, she may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. Name that film. Go. Hey, Reveal, how are you, mate? Nice to see you. Yes, surprises. <laughs> I'm as surprised as the rest of you. What mod is your skids here using to load the logs? This is the big bag uh, carrier from the CSZ pack. It is the best mod. It's so good because um, obviously it can lift big bags and things like that, but it can also lift logs. So good. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Right, let's see how much money we can make from this, because we might just come back and load those logs that are over on the side as well. I'm toying with the idea of... Do I cut them to five metres over there just as they land, or do I pull them out first, or am I making more work for myself? Would it be better to just... Um, would it be better to just load them one by one? Captain Mergen, well done, sir. Are you first to say that? If you were, congratulations. Congratulations. 
Not cheating if the game allows it. Who says it's cheating? I was told because a few people were getting grumpy with me for doing that. Well, that's not very realistic. And I was like, my dad had one of these. And they used to move logs with it. Not many, granted. It was quite handy for just moving them around short spaces. Because it wasn't we weren't loggers, but if they need to cut a tree or two down, the best way of shifting it. Oh, I am actually caught. Move that one. That's gonna annoy me, it's sticking it. Cheating, it's all fake anyway. Say that, Mark. I'm legit stuck in the woods. There's a rotting helicopter pilot's corpse somewhere. Just ditched him. They're actually going to tell me Santa's not real. Is that all of them from here? Let's go and chop one more trap. Space for more on there. It is very easy. You can even move whole trees as well. Look, I'm going to pull this. I don't want, I don't want to particularly drive on my freshly uh, planted crops, so I can do this as well. Come on. Your dog's in the room should be never stayed. But he's not, he is real, Tim. Exactly, Sean. The 200 IQ play. People are just disappointed they didn't think about it first, right? Don't see a referee. Exactly. Come on. Sometimes I think farmers, if they want to make their lives easier, they just wouldn't be farmers. Come on. I've been quite enjoying uh, Millennial Farms the last few weeks as well in my downtime. Time to squeeze in a video or two when I haven't got time to record or play myself. Been having a bit of a grim harvest with breakdowns, wasn't it? Five metres. That's why it's brilliant that there are so many decent farm sim YouTubers out there. So if you don't like how one plays, there's going to be somebody else somewhere else. Easy as that. The same folk that say course plus you. Yeah, even though it's available in most new tractors these days. No help in some people. They'll have a rant at anything. All this talk of cheating now, Marissa. <laughs> oh, with the Oxbow packs apparently available for pre order. Hmm, should update that, shouldn't I? Realism's overrated. Exactly. RB knows the score. I may disappear again for a couple of weeks as of next week because uh, I don't know if anybody's into rallying but the new WRC rally game looks the business Massive loan is unrealistic Chef! 
How's it going, buddy? Nice to see you. Um, two trees here. Oh, here. Stream it. I I did some uh, some eye racing a while back, Mark. Uh, nobody watched it. All these farmers are like getting a tractor, but I might. I might. I've got. Um, I even went. And this is the problem when you can't play games, you end up buying stuff for game. So I ended up buying uh, I ended up buying a rally wheel for the for the uh, sim rig over there. Yeah, Davey would have had this on its side, leaking oil everywhere. You're right. Scott Page, take it easy, bud. Nice to see you. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Appreciate it. Chef with this 15. This is what happens when nobody uh, streams for a few months. You all bank your uh, your anniversaries, which is nice. Get another. What do you reckon? Get another one on here. I'll we'll just push that one over. Don't you fall off? Stay there. Nah, that'll do. I think we'll we'll go with that. Wait for this to start up. Ten minutes later. Well, right. We're going to take a wee wager on the, what this is worth. If you've been watching the series, you'll know what the other ones are worth. Also, the, uh, the force feedback in my steering wheel has gone again. I'll need to change the seat. I will a little bit, Mark. You're right. Yeah, the force feedback. I can't wait to get rid of this wheel, if I'm being honest. Hopefully, in the next little while, um, that might be happening. We shall see. Seven K. Nick with <laughs> two bucks. Twelve K from Mark. Oh, the brakes are sucky on this. Quite like it though. Realism is key, as Mr. Dagwin would say. Nine point five from Brent. Mine's twelve K. You ever get the you ever get the feeling Nick's not taking it seriously? Right, here we go. Winner's gonna get the glory of knowing they guessed better than everybody else. 8358, who said seven and a half? Seven, Mark said, ooh. Ooh. It's, it's, it's close between... Uh, It's close between Brent and Mark. Actually, I wouldn't know who was the closest. <laughs> Let's go get some more. Build up the coffers a bit. 12k. We're going to be at this for a while, aren't we? Oh, you're just in the bank balance. <laughs> I see what you did there. Brent sneaks it by a few dollars, not much more than that. Did I miss the road? No. A35, <laughs> Tim, always one step ahead. Bonuses I got more than you say. Exactly, Mark. Exactly. Oh, um, look at me checking out the stream performance. And we crash into a tree. There we go. 
118 of you watching. Thank you very much, guys. It's nice to have so many of you here. Uh, evening Elite, how are you mate? Nice to see you. Nice to see you buddy. Hope everything's well with you. I definitely feel like I need something bigger to push trees around. That would be the ideal scenario, wouldn't it? But I don't really have... I'm pretty much sure I can buy nothing for 12 grand. I know, you'd think I would have got a little bit of sympathy money, right, Cobble? Right, let's just... Oh. Yeah, more money would be great. I know what I'm going to try and do. See if the blade can push these a little bit closer. Texting and driving. Yeah, don't text and drive. Bad habits. I actually think trimming these down when they're all where they lie is probably the better solution. Because um, when they're too close together, it gets a bit of a pain to... He's not moved since the last hundred times I drove past it. What are you saying, Nick? Bomb Sim, take care, mate. No worries, buddy. Thanks for dropping in and saying hello. Looking forward to meeting you finally at Lama as well. It's not bad. Hey, old Cranky's in the house. Hello, mate. Nice to see you. Yeah, this stream's just a me saying hello to, to folk. How are you, bud? I do indeed have mugs on my shop, Sean. Yes. My most popular seller. You know that. Mostly followed by the t-shirts. What have you got for streaming and vids? Nick, tell me. I'm intrigued. I've got Scott Free For All's hat on, by the way. He sent me one of these. Very nice. Because if you remember, I'm not allowed to wear my FSG green hat because my head just disappears. Which is slightly off putting. Uh, hey. Go three at once. Pull them down the hill. Unless it's a comically large... So there's a place in the UK... All the UK folk are going to be nodding when I say this. Um, called Sports Direct. And it's run by a horrendously evil man. Um, who nobody likes. And I particularly don't like him because he used to own Newcastle United Football Club. And made it into a complete and utter mess but if you buy if you buy stuff in his shop he does these massive mugs these massive sports direct mugs and uh, they're actually quite handy if you want a good big mug of coffee go go do some adulting Tim you do it so much better than the rest of us anyway Stro <laughs> Strody knows Are you even British if you don't have a Sports Direct big mug in your house somewhere? Uh, Some guy? Uh, no, only because I haven't had time to do anything about it uh, recently. The list of stuff that I need to do is getting longer, and the time I'm getting is getting less at the moment, so... Uh, um, Lama, though, I may have some 
special edition hats at Lama. If there's enough interest. That's, that's me. Serious Tim, we call you. I'm waiting for your book to come out. How to do adulting. Take care, Tim. Thanks, mate. Nice for you to drop in and hang out for a bit. I know you're a super busy man, so it's always appreciated. Hope everything's well with work and business, and uh, we'll catch up soon. You know, I've got logs on top of each other. I'm going to have to just do a little bit of... Can I lift it up any higher? No. Orby and Massey got you a face cam. Wow. Is that some sort of kind of... Oh, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Got a hat collection. Got yours and Arctis. Yeah, I've, I've got my... My wife's starting to get a little bit annoyed with my hat collection. Everywhere I go now, I buy hats. So when we were in the States, like literally every time we went somewhere... I was like, oh, I'll buy a hat. So I've got a Yankees hat. Um, we went and visited a submarine. So I've got a USS Growler hat as well. Jonathan V, is this on PC? Yes, it is. And yes, it is Farm Sim. Not as you've seen it before. As soon as the stream finishes, Sean, it'll be... It will convert to a video and be up. On the channel, yes. Let's see if we can line a few of these up again. I'm just pushing that one miles and miles away from everything else as well. Andy. Right, let's get these three. Anybody bored of me doing this yet? Should we go and do something else? Planner. This one on the way past, if we can. Enough weight left. Tractor allow us to pull that much more. for four. I like harvest the field. Yeah, I'm kind of limited with that one, Mark. <laughs> Skip forward eight months, even though I can't afford a combine harvester. We'll map out some fields in a minute. Okay, we're doing right here. I'm actually going to collect all of these. Dobba Aaron, how are you, mate? Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Hard to drive freehand and look at the stream at the same time. You are not kidding. Also, totally out of practice. <laughs> trying to remember the buttons is half the challenge. But we'll get there. We'll get there. That's part of the fun, right? I guess the sell price on the trailer is working well. <laughs> right, we'll do one of those in a minute. Can PS4 and PC join together on a multiplayer server? Yes, if it's set up the, the right way, Sean, that is uh, that is definitely possible. Go. Let's see what else we've got. Come on. There's a few more up there. 
I've literally cleared nothing. It doesn't feel like... My god, there's loads up here. It doesn't feel like I've cleared anything. You're grass bailing on Al... Oh, Argus is Alma server. Alma? I've not even looked at Alma yet. How is it? Is it a good map? Lots of people playing it, so that's usually a good sign, isn't it? B R B R B R B. Getting used to my uh, key commands again. Come on. This way. BM, how you doing mate? Nice to see you. Alma is awesome. I shall have to have a look at it. There we go. Hopefully these are far enough apart as well that I can chop them without too much hassle. Right, I'll have to check it out. I'm so far behind with stuff at the moment. Right, last two. Again. Well, I say last two, last two up here. The car production will be good when it comes out. Are we doing. Is there a car production mod coming? Pay attention. Oh, that was close. Last two at the top of the hill. We've got one down at the bottom. Can I squeeze in between? Just. I think I dented. I think I dented Jeepers Creepers. I do like swathing on a map. I think that's one of the cleverest mods in 22, actually. It's very cleverly done by BC Bueller and a certain uh, Yoss character making it work on other maps as well. Uh, this is whole macro, Sean. Check out DJ's news yesterday. That right, I will have a look at that. That sounds interesting. Does sound interesting. Right. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, the player is there too. Right. Let's chop some trees. Really do with it. I could really do with something a little bit more substantial, but we are where we are with it, aren't we? Let's get our measuring tape out. Obviously, I get that five metres is not as uh, lucrative as six metres, but it hangs off the back of the truck too much. So when we um, when we get a bigger truck or a bigger trailer, we will... Uh, in fact, that's what we could go for. Um... I don't think it's that expensive. Um, I'll show you when I get to the end. This is what I'm thinking. Obviously, we'd have to buy a. Well, I suppose we could use a dolly, couldn't we? And get a bigger tractor. About playing the game, right, isn't it? Um, I was thinking of. Forestry equipment. This trailer. The old lizard pole trailer. 22,000. The cheapest thing, I think. Everything else costs a bomb. Thirty-nine thousand for that. Forty-five for that. They're all transporters. I wish there was one that had a cutter on it. But yeah, it might do that. Oh.
Oh, look at that. Five meters on the nose. Fucking. Get to sense where five meters. Look how much the tree disappears as well. That's a bit frustrating. Ten meters? No, that's probably a bit too long. Visions of this turning into a bit of a bull's gap if we stick at it. So uh, that's the aim here. That turned into a great series. Hey, Jeremy Freeman, how are you, mate? Thank you very much for that. Very kind of you, sir. Hogsy rules. He does. He still does. Trying to persuade him to see if he will come to Lama. I think I know the answer, but uh, I can always try, can't I? Oh, he's on another road trip. Hello, Fraser. I did indeed, mate. Thank you very much. It was just. Just the tonic after a crazy few weeks and months. Nice to recharge the batteries. Oh, you do that thing when you go on holiday, where, like, the last day before you fly home, you're, um... Like, we end up, we had to get up at 3 a.m. to get to the airport to get our flight, because they put their flights on at such offensive hours. So, like, you, you relax and recover for a week, and then you finish your holiday exhausted because you had to get up at a stupid hour of the morning on the last day. Anybody else have that issue? That's a, I think that's a European thing. I also think that's a, the flights to Spain and Portugal and Mallorca and places like that are always at crazy times for switch over of uh, groups of people on package holidays. What am I cutting here? Five. Arg's not the fastest bail loader now though. <laughs> he is not. Short lived. He did to fair play to him though, he did update his uh His Discord line. I did a I did a one thirty two when I was in London. Bail stacking. I uh, I won the uh, I won the day. Obviously, I was not allowed to be included because I was working there. But uh, one thirty two. So that's my fastest time. Don't ask me how many bales it was for. That's irrelevant. I did it in 132. Need a holiday after a holiday. You're so right, Bob. Oh, you answer if you want to. Sim guy, you do that. Two. All right, cranky, harsh. <laughs> it was four. <laughs> so I'm twice as good as you thought I was. There you go. Oh, 
14 meters. No, uh, we're on the wrong one. That's why. Right. There we go. Five meters. There we go. You thinking of coming, Mark? I think it could be quite good fun. It's so funny. It's a trade show, right? There's just going to be loads and loads of <laughs> farm sim folk there, which I think is brilliant. They'll be like, why have we got so many farming geeks here? I think some of our American counterparts are going to visit as well. No, I cut this. Yes, I have there. Certain Mr. Goham, I think, has already booked his spot, and a certain cop that farms. Particularly accurate. Am I still enjoying, enjoying, enjoying doing the quarter farms? I really am elite. Um, although, yeah, not for the last couple of weeks, but um, I've been itching to get back into it. Definitely. Um, it's still a really good map, and I think that whole. Con I've seen a couple of other guys, and Mr. Seely P's done a bit of a contractor series on it as well. It's the kind of map that you get to see the whole map if you do a contractor series on it, which is really good. Um, Actually, something I'll probably repeat again in the future because um, just means you, I think your viewers get to see more of the map, uh, and you've got you kind of don't get bored farming the same little corner of the map all the time, which is quite good. I kind of st when I did Bally Spring, I kind of started by doing um, like spreading my fields out across the map, which was quite good fun as well. Right there we go, all done. Better move this into a better place. A bit far and expensive. Where are you, Mark? Right, here we go. Let's get loaded. Hey Joseph, I am not done with Generations, I just haven't had any time recently, so uh, it hasn't finished. It will be resurrected at some point, for sure. Just don't know when. Oh, we're on the limit. We're on the wobbly limit here, and also that's a terrible pile. Let's uh, just... Make sure that they're a bit more lined up. Oh. That's fine, not totally understand that, mate, yeah. Your privacy is your thing. That poor old truck. The truck is happy. J Rod. I think. I am on the limit of balance here. Two hour forty five for you, Mark. Whee, see. We can get it over the over the side of the truck before balance goes. Yo. Oh no 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 no! It's a total mare. Have to do some. There we go. There's no problem here. You're still commenting, Sean. You are still commenting. up a bit better Scott free for all some logging look buddy 
got your howl, mate. Thank you for sending it. Very kind of you. A little bit lined up again. He's such a nimble and versatile bit of kit, this. Look at that. It's a... It's a blade, it's a skid steer, it's a logging piece of genius. machine now like I've never been away getting in the zone ish handle it could do with a blade on the front of it you're right not be nice to have a little flat I mean it works but blade on the back should have a rear hitch and a blade on the back Compact logging, you could call it. Pleasant, nice to see you, buddy. It has been, as you Americans would call it, a hot minute. Um, yeah, it's nice to be back, mate. It's been far too long, and I've missed it. But we're going to try and get back to some sort of routine here. Try and get a little bit balanced. Jeremy Burnett, did I say hello to you? Sorry. I'm, I'm new to this. That truck idles so happily. It does. I kind of feel it almost... It's like it almost runs out of fuel. It's like it's being starved of fuel. And then every now and again it gets this blast. Keeps it going for a bit longer. Uh, Portugal was fantastic, sim guy. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, uh, Sean, I will be finishing... I don't need... So, oh, crack It's quarter past ten already. I am going to be finished in about 45 minutes if it all goes to plan. And you guys don't clear off because you get bored. Um, oh, that's a big load. I have to drop a couple of them. Shall see. I really thought I'd make more progress in this. Look, it looks the same as it was at the start of the episode. I don't think the trees were as uh, thick, shall we say. But it's a survival series, so I can't just go and lease a big, big kind of tree cutter, much as I would love to. Just have to expedite um, what we're doing. We can get some farming stuff going. What's what's bit? What do we reckon? Um, ooh, Pleasant's got a second bar coming out. What do we reckon is the most lucrative way of making money? I know silage is a winner. But I think that's going to be a hard one to to manage here on a small scale. So I, put, I think I put soybeans in the field just here, didn't I? Did I put soybeans in? What did I put in here? Canola. Which isn't the most cost effective. I think it's probably because of seasons I couldn't plant soybeans, could I? Let's have a look actually. Um I think we're out of season. Yeah, we could only plant canola and we can only plant wheat and barley. So even if I cut a field, I'm not gonna plant in it until um next month. Greenhouses coffee greenhouse barley or oats we'll definitely put some barley in next next month Sean for sure watch that pull quite quick isn't it 
Ridu, hello, nice to see you. All scat vibes, big time, right? I was, I was thinking I was going to get all these on here. I, it's safe to say that is not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> no spring in my steering wheel. Stupid G920. Um. Hey Jeff, how are you doing mate? Daniel as well, how are you doing mate? Nice to see you. Dialers can actually be done pretty cheaply. Yeah, hopefully it can. It's the, like you said, it's the picking up of it, isn't it? You need quite a lot of uh, equipment to... Uh, Moonshine product. Ooh, the Moonshine mod. That's a good call, Trey. I used that bad boy on uh, Surviving Wyoming. It was a great mod. You need quite a lot of ingredients. you need quite a lot of ingredients for it? I don't know why that was so high-pitched. Do you need quite a lot of ingredients for it? This, I think this does pick up bales. You're right, Nick. Take care, well, Sniper. Thanks for dropping in. All the best, Semper. You off to let's get into that time of night for certain people certain in the UK. Oh, he's made a mess of this. A mess of this. Hardtop finally got some cheap and small forage wagons. And you have a skid steer to level. Oh, yeah. After, uh, again, a little bit behind the curve with mods in the last few weeks. So, um, I'll have to check out what's new. I could change things completely. You need a mower, a rower, a baler, and a wrapper. Yep. Hey, slow! You just subscribed. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much indeed. Hope you're doing all right. Hash of that. They were too far forward, weren't they? Yeah. Thought so. Still think we fit a few more on there. T. Bailey, you got to go. No worries, buddy. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Nice to see you. Said it already. It's nice to be back and nice to be chatting to you a lot. So I appreciate you all. We will cut a field after this, actually. I think I've changed my plan. This staging area, I'm going to turn into... Uh, look at that magical floating tree. Physics? We don't need your stinking earth physics here. We've got farm sim physics. Go. Hi, lad. How are you? Good to see you. 
Edward, yes, sorry mate, it's been a while, a little bit uh, off the uh, off the vids for the last few weeks, but nice to be back and playing. Hopefully we'll have a few more over the next few weeks, but quite a busy couple of weeks coming up for the game. New expansion and all that coming out, so hopefully I'll be able to bring you some of that. How far can we go before they start falling off? I was excited by Bullet Bill's map, but how good do the images look of Bullet Bill's map? That could be my next uh, post court farms map, I think. Right, do I, do I chance? Oh, there's one rogue one here, should we take that? Or do I go for another full load? What do we reckon? I think we go for why not? Let's throw caution to the wind. Right, well, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Paladin as well. Nice to see you, mate. And Stephen Lowry. Hello, guys. Hope you're all doing all right. Appreciate you dropping in, saying hello. Scaffold tube extension, I do. Who, who on earth would have built that? That look different lengths. Hey, Daniel. Doing good, mate. Doing good. Good to be back playing some games. Doing better. Glad to hear it, Brett. Glad to hear it, mate. Port farms with classic fords. That sounds brilliant. That map is designed for that kind of kind of style of gameplay. How have I not cut these to length? Not that I'm complaining, but watch them. I'm going to have to go around the other side to the short one. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Can we do this? Or are we going to lose some? So close, oh well. There's an acceptance there that we lost one. That is a full load. So we're going to go for guesstimations again. That one's not even strapped down on the outside. We might lose that one on the way. I'll drive carefully. Stephen, uh, I used to, I don't anymore. I do have a Twitch channel still. I never say never. But uh, I used to do a really good thing called uh, uh, Twitch Mondays. And it was like FSG unplugged. And we did all the stuff that you can't really get away with. 12k marks going for 10 to... Oh, that's very specific, Mark. Been waiting for Wyoming on console. Yeah, that's um, that's been a while, hasn't it? He has talked about it, though. Big Fuzzy's going for 9-8. Captain Mergen's going for 8-2. 11-3 from Chef Splash. 8-2 from Sean. FSG after dark. <laughs> Potty Mouth Mondays, I think it was. 12-8 from Elite. 14 Stegs. Faber Farming! How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. 6, 7, 50 from PM. Oh! You, you're all going to have to revise now, because I've just lost the log. 
Darren Gurney, nice to see you, mate. How are you? Not allowed to go on 11.3. Oh, got a few farms in Bob. 10.8. Right, hope somebody's tracking this, because I haven't been paying attention. I think they're all still on screen, though. Just. There we go. There is no prize for this, other than just the respect of your uh, fellow viewers. 9585. Sim guy, 95. Good call, mate. 9 8, big fuzzy, you were close. 9572, Stephen Larry, I think you might have just snuck it, mate. That is close. That is close. Are wood chips worth any money? Can we start chipping stuff in a bit. Big A, how you doing, buddy? 9 8 as well, yeah. Some good guesses there. Very good guesses. It's because you all knew what the first one was, so you're all a little bit more accurate that time. Right. Let's, um. Let's cut some it does vary a lot depending on the thickness of the trees and the length and all of that stuff did I clear everything? no we've got the right, well let's load what's left here but we'll not run them down yet and we'll cut ourselves another uh, we'll cut ourselves another tree and we may even take some of these spare piles that we did in the last episode over as well Because there isn't a full load here, is there? Did we cut this last tree? Yeah, we did. Okay. Good. And then I think we'll cut out our second field. Jeff Manning, where would your neck of the woods be? This will be a good test. few of these up. No one's land right now. So sand, but it is. It is. Oh, I've messed up here, actually. Maybe not. I was going to say, I thought it might be too uh, too big, too heavy. Actually, well weighted this uh, this skid steer. East Tennessee, about 40 miles from Bulls Gap. <laughs> Brilliant. when you stack them. Digging ditches. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Yeah. Need to boot your sleep, mate. Don't skimp on that. Right. Are we going to tip with this? It's gonna be close and we need to go around the other side second <sighs> Ooh, we are spinning on the front wheels there Brett Wells, looking at Apex Gaming PCs, get the farm sim guy ones. <laughs> the 
but then I'm biased. Of course. Get squashed down. What's my favourite tractor brand? Again, I have to say it's John Deere now, aren't I? But they were so nice to me in London. Massey, nice to see you, buddy. How are you? FSG still needs to go. I'm going to definitely be coming back at some point, Nick. I've been toying with the idea of doing a bit of a road trip. Now I've got my John Deere contacts, I'm going to try and get a... get a, uh, a trip over to uh, Moline. And then tie it in with a few... Uh, a few trips to different places. Texas as well I want to go to. I'm not going to fall on the... But definitely Minnesota. There we go. Uh, Brett, if you look in the description to the vid, there's actually a link to my uh, to mine in there. And you can get it directed. I was alright till he said John Deere was your favourite. <laughs> you're uh, you're clearly biased with a name like Massey. can I say? Red isn't my favourite colour. It's always been John Deere. <laughs> Do you know what? I love case tractors. I love the big case tractors as well, so I'm not... I am not a... Uh, I'm not a picky when it comes to my tractors. But I do, by default, tend to find myself going to... Uh, go to John Deere more often than not. Can I pick that up? Yeah, it's so small I can pick it up. I'll pick that up though. Right, where's my little tractor? Where is my little tractor? What's there? Looking straight at it. Big fuzzies in Texas. There's a lot of people in Scotts, Texas. A few others, Scorpion and people like that. So it was a while when I'd do a live stream and half the half the live stream would be Texans. A tiny little plough here. Right. I want a path in between the fields, so big enough to get trucks and things down. I am loving the Valtras as well. They are brilliant on um, on court farms. Now I'm going to have to switch on allow create field to yield. So we have a field going up here. We're going to have a driveway going up here, so we'll make this nice and straight. Not bad. Much bigger than our first field. Although with this tiny two furrow plough, it will take a while. Doing quite well now, this tractor. Go! Leave a little bit of a verge here. I didn't do enough of a verge last time, so. Leave a bit more of a verge here. No worries, Sean. Thanks for hanging out, mate. Appreciate it. Who always does this when they have got create fields on and end up driving further than they should? Or you drive in the middle of a road or something, you drop the plough down in the wrong place and end up with a real mess. I tend to do that quite regularly.
this without this is quite uh, this track is quite interesting when you lift off it literally stops dead there's no kind of momentum in the track to keep it yeah see missed a bit couple more headlands so we can see what we're doing right that many times yeah i'm doing well faber nice to see you buddy can you afford to upgrade the plow i probably can afford to upgrade the plow but i might not be able to afford to upgrade upgrade the tractor yet what we'll do is um just make sure we get these First couple of loops around the field going. And then we should probably have a look at actually what we can afford. I think we've got a nice universal tractor in there that's quite... It's a, a logging tractor. We could get another tractor. This one, I will keep this one though. This could be quite a good little walk workhorse for maybe fer ferrying trails and stuff around in future. I would like to get rid of stuff when I bought it. I feel like I'm <laughs> I feel like you're going over the same bit over and over when it's so narrow. Where would I get a plow from? We've got a shop down at the uh We'll make it. It'll be like uh, like the A team, we'll just disappear into a shed for a couple of hours and come out and there's a whole uh whole new sh new plow built. Missed a massive bit there. Robert Kelly, Queen Valley, Arizona. Very nice. I'll show you some time. I said, Scott, you promised me a barbecue about 18 months ago, and I still, to this day, think about it. I can't wait. It's definitely going to happen. We're going to manifest it as a as a thing that's going to happen. I'm trying to convince Args, Args he can fly from the other side of the world, and I'll fly from my side, and we'll meet in the middle. We reckon that's about Texas anyway. Probably isn't. It's probably like Hawaii or somewhere like that. Could meet him there though. I'm not against that. Definitely not against that. Oh, left my uh, my seed drill in the way. Yeah, kind of, kind of defeats the survival element of it, doesn't it? If you can just well, can you just take me back to a hotel, please? I'm bored. I've decided to stay here. This is my new life. I want to be here. too close to the trees here as well. I'll have to cut some of these down. Like, we haven't cut enough trees down already. When you plough the same map, it leaves the sticks and garbage in the field. Uh, yeah. Turn create fields on tactical. Have to make sure you do that, or it'll just... Yeah, you're just dragging the plough over the... over the surface, and it won't do anything. Unless it's a cultivator. Might be a cultivator. If you've got create fields with cultivator on that might do something as well Nightbot, yeah Nightbot's behind the curve Nightbot's woken up after a, a month off I 
Am I going to meet my son again? I hope so. He's just upstairs. <laughs> See, I'm just driving over the bit I've done now. Come on, FSG, pay attention. That's interesting tactical. Might be the type of plough you're using. You tried a different plough. Oh, you meant Hoxie. He's not my son. He's far too un un uh, unsophisticated. <laughs> He's not here, I can tell you that. Should have got a GPS on that tractor. Yeah. That would be... Uh, that would be making it a bit too easy, wouldn't it? But yeah, soon, Mark, we'll have enough money for GPS. Then we don't have to worry about this kind of nonsense. Luke Fox. How are you, mate? Sorry, didn't see you there first time. Oh, see, I've done the thing with the plow. Damn it. I'm going to come to Texas when uh, the Grand Prix's on. Because I want to go to the Circuit of Americas. Good race this weekend. Signal in those heels, so. yeah, true. Robert Kelly, do you think Giants will ever put Super Strength and Lumberjack on console? It all depends on if they embed it into the game by default, because it runs with scripts, and Sony do not allow scripts on consoles, or third-party scripts on consoles, should I say? So it would require Giants to uh, put it into the base game. I might do that tactical when nobody's looking. My OCD, I like a, ni a nice, neat, tidy field. Can you go both directions in real life? I think you can, Mark. I think you can. But this is a problem with uh, create fields. You miss a bit. It doesn't count it as fields. You end up with blobs in it. Time flies when you're having fun, guys. I can't believe that's nearly two hours up already. Crazy. Just going to go in all kinds of directions here. Make sure everything's ploughed. Apart from that. I clearly can't hold a straight line. Yeah, this is a this is definitely not a turnable plough, I don't think. Oh, although it could be. I didn't look to that, but no, I don't think it is. The class. Back in the days before they had turnable ploughs, you pulled them behind horses and things like that. I've got a brilliant video of uh, my dad ploughing with a tiny two-furrow plough on a. Uh, Fordson Major, I think it was. We watch the darts over Christmas every year, Case. 
It's only the best part about Christmas, right? Just a bit again. Keep going. <laughs> Strody, I might even prefer potatoes over that. Okay, still spuds. There will always be spuds. But equally, I'm going to quit at 99,500, I've decided. Oh. Don't mind spuds. I love spuds. Could actually cut out a little course plate of the field now, couldn't I? Well, the goal is to make money once you clear a few fields. Crops, chicken, everything, Bjorn. We're going to do try and do a bit of everything. Find out what's the most lucrative and stick with it. I think that's the that's the aim. Might find some interesting productions and things like that to invest in. Neater, wasn't it? Ozzy, the food, yeah, the old coma nap. The Christmas coma nap. I'll keep it in the furrow. Butchers is a good one. Yeah, we'll definitely get some... Uh, and horses as well. Horses are lucrative. Car production. Mark's big on the car production. Jeez, Fraser. Yeah, I bet that's a bit of fun. Although, Court Farms is not bad. It's a bit forgiving because the field sizes aren't crazy big, are they? So, uh Actually got through this quicker than I thought we would. Bit of a rhythm now we're on the up and downs. Yeah, I'm not sure we'd be able to get all the constituent. I'm intrigued how they're going to do cars. Do you need metal production for that? Steam Larry, next Aussie Farms will be next week. Argsy and I will record it on Sunday and it'll be out the following Tuesday. Hopefully. What time? Yeah. What month do you plant the engines? Very good. I like that. Would be nice for cars on console, as in mod car mods. They have Volvo in game. I'd love to recreate the farm I grew up on in uh, in game, but because um, it's a beautiful part of the world, our farm used to be between two castles, so Cheshire's a very flat, very flat uh, part of uh, the UK. Other than where we were, which had this little lump uh, lump of uh, hills 
and on top of two of these uh, hills were castles, like less than a mile apart. One's like an old ruin one back to uh, Norman conquest times. And the other one was uh, like an 18th century uh, local lord's house. And it was beautiful. Um, that's one of those things when you're a kid you don't really appreciate it. But now I'm like, that would be an amazing... Uh, that would be an amazing uh, map in the game. But unfortunately my mapping skills are... are, well, yeah. Not good enough to do it justice. He did, uh, Mark, uh, Args did, uh, we had a chat the other day, um, and actually he said, do you want to do a live stream on Sunday, just back there? And I was just back from holidays. So when I picked up the message, I was like, yeah, let's do it. And, uh, but he'd obviously already gone to bed, so we didn't get up early enough to see my message, so he just binned it, and we thought, we'll just try again next week. I think he decided to have a lie in anyway. Simon Jackpin, nice to see you. How are you? Thanks for the wave. Car production. Some else for Greta to be. She's in jail at the moment, isn't she? Have they released her yet? Got arrested the other day, didn't she, for uh, protesting somewhere? Probably find her tied to a tree here somewhere. They're not real. They're not real trees. Pressing any old button now. Now, Nobus, nice to see you, man. How are you? It has been a while. Right. We have to finish this before the end of the stream. The law. Don't leave jobs half done. Car production. I'm going to go and look straight after the stream at car production. And we'll go up here and finish this little corner off here. She she does stroke, doesn't she? She's on a lot of flights. corner up there but should get this done yeah I'm all for people protesting about stuff they believe in have a look on DJ's farm news I can't work out how it's how it's um possible to do it unless you're on a kind of a map with mining on it or something like that that creates metal moonshine definitely I'm gonna dig out that mod from my uh, from my surviving Wyoming series oh I just I, I do remember it being quite quite an eclectic bunch of uh, ingredients which might be quite hard to create there's maybe another version though. Who got me into playing Farming Simulator? Um, I've kind of played it. My first ever version of Farming Simulator was FS11, believe it or not. Terrafarm with some fill types. Yeah, maybe. There's a new version of Terrafarm out that uh, FS Mine has done, which I've uh, downloaded but I haven't had a chance to have a play with yet. Quite fancy that. It looks quite good. The kind of whole inter interface has had a bit of an overhaul. Did I miss anything there? No, I did not. I know there's pianos in the expansion. Along, you know, similar lines to the boat manufacturer. Oh, remember, the Oxbow pack is available for pre-order. You can't save 10% because it was out like a month ago. I will update that. I will update it.
You planted, yeah, so I think it's a mod. There you go. There you go, tactical. I think it might be the plow you've been using, might be uh, non compliant with removing the sticks. Right, not many passes to go now. That's right, actually, yeah. Well, it was a thing, but nobody's playing farm sim on it. 2000 and... wait a minute. 2004 was YouTube? I can't remember now. I not have been 2000, it might have been 2007, I think. Um, Amazon was 2004? No. I got paid. It was... It wasn't 94. Oh, I'm, I'm now lost. Somebody help me. When did Amazon start? I think it was 2004. YouTube was about 2007. Cowbell in game. 2005. There you go. Not even 20 years old yet. And now look at it. Billions of people watch it. My kids exclusively watch YouTube. They've never watched terrestrial TV in their lives, I don't know. That was us just a few years ago. You'd have to wait a week to see the next episode of any series you were watching or anything like that kids today. Don't know how easy they've got it. FS17 is still my favourite game in terms of purely visually. The skies in FS17 were the best. Loved them. Yeah, same, Strody. Same. We've got we've got the usuals. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. Like surviving Wyoming. Yeah, a proper TV. Still waiting for the call from Netflix. Amazon, July the 5th, 1994. What? Jeez. There you go. It was a bookstore, though, wasn't it then? Not what it is now. Love a classic TV show, A Team, Knight Rider. Baywatch. Thirty one months, cranks, jeezy peeps. That's a long time. Airwolf, yeah. Street Hawk, remember Street Hawk? Wasn't there? Apparently, there's only about eight episodes of Street Hawk. Love that. Magnum PI, yeah. A team was a, A team was brilliant. Chips, who remembers chips? That was good. Right, there we go. 
field done. Have I missed any bits? I don't think... I actually think I've done an alright job there. Sometimes I amaze even myself. That looks pretty good. I'll take that. Works law. Streets of San Fran. Awesome, awesome. Some some good ones coming out now. Don't need Netflix when you've got farm flicks. You know it, Fraser. Y50, yeah. So many good ones. So many good ones. Right, I'm going to turn off. What was it? Create fields with plough. It's not showing up. Why not? Hello, create fields. There we go. There we go, folks. I think we'll call it there. So, actually, in hindsight, it looked like we'd not cut a lot down, but when you look at it there, there was no trees from probably about here, so we've taken all of this lot out. Looking pretty good. Strody, it will definitely, mate. I had it running, oh, six months ago. Brilliant. Randy and Hock. Randall and Hockkirk, Starsky and Hush. Duke, oh, Dukes of Hazard. How could you forget? Brilliant. Ah, I love a bit of nostalgia. Right. It's getting late. And I'm not used to these late nights anymore. So. Thank you, everyone. That was great fun. Good to chat to you all again. It has been too long. Let's try and make this a bit more of a regular occurrence. And, um... Yeah, we'll try and do it next week. Trying to get some vids out over the weekend as well. And, uh, and yeah, we've got uh, the expansion in a couple of weeks. So hopefully we'll get some stuff in there. Jim, I'm going to aim for every Wednesday again. That's my usual um, that's my usual schedule. So we'll try and stick with that. Um, pleasure, Mrs. Professor. Nice to see you. Uh, and everyone, have a good one. And at Red Dwarf. Love it. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye for now.